Within Papua New Guinea is one of the world's most active volcanoes. Not only is it actively erupting right now, but it recently produced a powerful explosion, sending a column of ash to a height of 15,000 meters or 50,000 feet. The volcano I'm referring to is known as Manum, which encompasses the entirety of the island it is situated on. Its latest explosion was merely a small part of its continuing eruption, which has been ongoing since June of 2014. This video will discuss this volcano and mention what its future hazards are. The Manam volcano can be found along northern Papua New Guinea, where it is one of a chain of islands which contains a number of highly explosive volcanoes such as Lon Island and Kadovar. The Manam volcano encompasses the entirety of Manam Island, and there is even a possibility that the adjacent Boiza Island to the northwest is merely a satellite cone of the same volcano. Of course, this has not yet been proven, but is an interesting possibility. The Manum volcano is a towering stratovolcano that erupts lava which ranges from basalt to basaltic andesite to andesite. It is not known when this volcano began forming, but it has existed for at least 10,000 years as layers of its ash have been found as ancient sediment and bogs correlating to that time period. The Manum volcano began forming when a fissure of magma erupted onto the ocean floor at a depth of 1400 meters or 4600 feet. It did not take long for this fissure to coalesce into a single vent, which soon began building a rounded volcanic cone. Over the span of more than 20,000 years, it slowly crept towards the ocean's surface. As it reached the surface, a series of unusually explosive eruptions occurred due to the interaction of lava with seawater. This output a significant quantity of ash, building a plateau of grey rock. Due to the high eruptive rate of this volcano, the island was not merely a temporary feature, as lava soon began flowing down its slopes, thus building a permanent edifice. Later, as the island continued to expand, a new eruption occurred from a vent on the northern edge of the volcano. Soon, lava was ejected high into the air, and intermittent explosions of ash began. This eruption built a 100 meter high cinder cone which is quite prominent on the island today. Due to the lack of vegetation on this cinder cone, it may have formed as recently as only 200 years ago. Currently, the Manam volcano stands at a height of 1,807 meters or 5,928 feet above sea level. Its eruptions are volcanian in nature, caused by lava plugging the active vent, gas building up, and a large explosion associated with pyroclastic flows occurring soon after. Due to the overall topography of the island, these pyroclastic flows are typically funneled into one of four valleys, which the locals refer as to avalanche valleys. Most pyroclastic flows do not travel beyond a kilometer, but some manage to reach the ocean five kilometers distant and continue to expand outwards. The trees in this photo were recently scorched by a pyroclastic flow. Note the superheated particulates still present on their exterior. These long-distance pyroclastic flows have at times been deadly, such as in 1996 when it killed several residents who live just north of the western Avalanche Valley. Although the vast majority of the island's populace has not returned since a major eruption in 2004, at least 3,000 people still live on this island. I hate to say this, but these people should not live here, especially since the volcano has been almost continuously erupting in a highly explosive manner since 1974. Pyroclastic flows could easily reach any part of the island as no part of it is truly safe. Locals feel a false sense of security that the avalanche valleys will protect them, but this won't always be the case. Thus, I recommend a permanent evacuation of the overall island. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.